Good day to all of us. I am Mrs. Arlene Aloy from San Pisima Cruz Elementary School under Mrs. Serena S. Rasco. I am assigned to discuss about the tips on how to set up our virtual teaching. Tips on how to set up your room for virtual teaching. When pursuing a virtual teaching, time and location suddenly become very flexible. However, it can be difficult to define what your educational space should look like. If you're struggling with setting up a space that maximizes your productivity, here are some tips. First, designate a study space. Dedicate a whole room to your studies. The kitchen is associated with cooking and eating. What can be the disadvantage pag tayo ay nasa kitchen? Maraming pagkain. What about kung ilalagay po natin sa living room? with family while having their relaxation and watching TV. So what will be the possibilities? Tayo ay manonood na lang din, malilibang na tayo. Studying in your bed or even your bedroom can make you feel lazy and unproductive. Siyempre, medyo para tayong tatama rin pag tayo nasa higaan. Ano po? So ito po yung having our own space, we will be more focused on the tasks the room is meant for. What is the best alternative kung wala po tayong space at home? Uh, pwede po tayong maglagay ng isang corner. As you can see, meron siyang parang ditong naka-built-in na lagayan ng kortina. Pag po siya ay nag-virtual teach, kinakabit po niya yung green curtains para mag-transparent yung kanyang background. Perfect lighting. Lighting in your workspace can have a huge effect on your drowsiness. Low lighting strains your eyes and is associated with going to sleep. Aantokin po tayo. Pag naman po ang lighting is too bright, it can cause headaches at dagdag init sa ating working area. In filming our lesson, uh, we will be needing green screen and still with proper light. Green screen is a visual effects technique where two images or video streams are layered. Ito po ay pwede nating ipag-combine yung mga videos na nakalayer. Pwedeng tatlong videos together. And then, pag may green screen po, pwede natin siyang matanggal yung background. So, that will be discussed later on. What alternative can be used? We can use green curtain and uh, these two LED light that is more cheaper than ring light. Eliminate noise. There is nothing more distracting than noise. Pwede tayo makiusap sa mga tao sa paligid natin kung anong oras po yung ating teaching hours or kung kailan tayo nagawa ng video lessons. We could even hang a do not disturb sign on your door. If outside distractions are difficult to maintain, try your own methods. Paano naman po kung hindi na tao yung maingay? Like yung mga aso, usa, manok, hindi naman natin sila pwedeng kausapin. Anong pwede natin gawin? We can use headset with noise cancelling feature or condenser mic. What if we have no budget for that? We can use this alternative. We can make our DIY soundproof box using soundproof foam or egg trays also will do. Dito po pwede natin ilagay yung ating cellphone sa loob habang nagre-record. Or kahit simple ang clip-on mic lang, lagay lang natin sa loob while recording, ma-eliminate po niya ang ingay sa paligid. Or, kung meron kang malaking box, yung mismong laptop na ang ipasok po natin sa box, wherein yung box po ay napapalibutan sa loob ng egg tray. Stack up your study space. Prefer your room with office supplies you know you will use often, such as pens, notebooks, and folders. It's also a good idea to keep water beside you para pag nauho tayo, madali na tayo makakainom. Always remember to hydrate ourselves para hindi sumakit ang ating ulo. And some brain food snacks in your study space too. Bring in items you can consolidate to your room that eliminate the need to leave and have fun with it. Decorating your space and organizing these items will make you feel more successful and purposeful in your learning. Basta lahat ng necessities natin, nandun na po lahat sa ating working area. Adding plants on our working area. Can plants help you do your work? Super yes po. It can help us improve our productivity and happiness. Scientists 
have found out that indoor plants prevent fatigue during attention-demanding work, just like what we are having right now, and keep us focused. If you can see a plant from your desk, you might be missing out on a 15% productivity boost. Aha, uh -huh, ang mga plants ko ay ating productivity booster. I know somehow, yung mga plantitas natin dyan, mga plantitas lovers ay napangiti. Itaas ang kamay, iwagaywa. O oh, sabi ko po, kamay lang po ang itaas, bakit pati po pa itinaas? <laughs> so yung mga nakahiligan po natin sa plants, pwede na po natin i-depense ang ating sarili kay Mester. Just tell them, uy, malaking bagay ang plants para sa aming work from home. How to position our laptop for PC? Raise the screen higher. The ideal laptop height and angle lets you view the screen easily without bending or rotating your neck. Elevate the laptop a few inches above your desk, placing it in a stable support surface such as a laptop stand or a stack of thick books, your eyes should naturally hit the top third of your screen when you look straight ahead. When we are having our virtual classroom, it is very important to have our eye-to-eye -eye contact. Let's say we are using a share screen. So let's, let's take a look at this picture. This is Mr. Lay. Instead of using laptop stand, he used improvised improvised one. He put the laptop on top of numbers of books. Our eyes must be 20 inches to 30 inches away from the laptop. Not or not too near. And also, remember to look at the camera or the webcam of our laptop. How can we be reminded that we always have to look at the webcam? We can put on sticker. Look at this uh, picture. This is his laptop. He put on he put on a cute smiley sticker on the webcam and then binutasan po niya. So through that, nare-remind siya na wait, I have to look at the webcam. So we can use the technique para pag nag-virtual classroom na tayo, we will always be reminded to look at the webcam. Having an ergonomic chair. Ano po ba yung ergonomic? Ibig sabihin, it is designed for efficiency and comfort in our working environment. Ito po yung mga office chair natin, no? If you are in an air-conditioned room, pwede po yung leather. Pero kung walang aircon, don't buy the leather type po dahil napakainit po nun. Ang bibili po natin or kung, kung kaya po natin bumili, bibili po natin ay yung mesh. Here's what to look for in an ergonomic office chair. First, it has lumbar support. The curve in the back of the chair should support your lower spine, following the natural curve of your lower back. Next, seat depth. Chairs can fit your body, will allow you to sit comfortably with your lower back against the lumbar support while also leaving an inch or two between the back on your knee and the seat. Rule of thumb, while seated, See if you have three or four fingers with distance between your legs and the edge of the seat. Ito po, just like what we see on the picture. Armrest. Armrest should be at the proper height so your shoulders aren't hunched and you can keep your arms parallel to the floor. Ibig sabihin para hindi po tayo nakukuba yung kubkurkubado. Office chair must have recline ability. Reclining in your chair at about 135 degrees may be better for your spine than sitting straight up to 90 degree angle. What materials are we going to consider? Ito na nga po yung sinasabi ko kanina. If you are in an aircon uh, setup, you can choose leather. But if you have no aircon, kagaya ko, mesh chair lang to. Ibig sabihin po ng mesh, yung, yung sandalan niya, makikita niyo po sa picture, butas-butas siya. So lampasan po yung air. Mas presko po siya. What alternative can we use if we don't have mesh chair? Pwede po tayong gumamit ng monoblock and then lagyan na lang po natin ng back stretcher. So what is the use of back stretcher po sa ating upuan? So yan po, nare-relax po yung ating lumbar. Habang tayo nakaupo, ano po, hindi po tayo talagang naka 90 degree na straight na nakaupo. Practice proper posture. Take frequent breaks that incorporate moving around and stretching. Strengthen your core 
tighten them slightly when sitting or standing to avoid back pain and get your spine in the best natural shape. Roll your shoulders back and sit up straight and tall. Ang sabi nga po, galaw-galaw. Galaw-galaw tayo. Uh, minsan, pagka po tayo habang ako po, medyo nangangawit ka na. Ikot-ikotin lang po natin yung shoulder natin. Kumembot-kembot tayo kahit ako po. Much better kung tatayo ng konti, lakad-lakad ng konti to relax our uh, spine at yung mga muscles po natin. So let's sum it up about the tips on how to set up your room for virtual or online teaching. Okay, first natin, kailangan meron na tayong own space for our virtual classroom. Second, perfect your lighting. So kung wala tayong ring light, we can use alternative. We can use the direct sunlight, the light that we have at home, pwede na rin po yan. And then let us just add on, pwede tayong gumamit ng LED light na yung pinakita ko po kanina na sobrang mura lang. Effective po yan. Sa mga previous po na nagagawa, yan po yung gamit ko lang, dalawang pirasong LED light na yan. So makikita yung sa screen talagang lumiliwanag po yung ating kuha ng webcam. And then eliminate noise. So we can we can have the noise canceling headset or we can have this condenser mic or for a cheaper one we can use clip on mic. Kung wala talaga, pwede nating gamitin ng ating cellphone. And then let's use an improvised soundproof box. Then we can also add plants on our working area because it boosts our productivity as much as 15%. Based po yan sa mga scientists. Stack up your study space. Lahat ng kailangan natin, ilagay na lahat po dyan sa ating working area. And then also remember the proper positioning of our laptop on our table. It must be 20 to 30 inches away from the screen. And also while having our virtual classroom or when we are recording, Using the screen share or screen recording, always remember to look at the webcam. And how how can we be reminded? We can put on smiley sticker on the webcam and then let's put a small hole on it para kita po tayo. Baka tinakpan nyo, hindi na tayo makikita po. Uh, we can also consider this ergonomic chair. Let's rather choose the mesh type. Para mas price ko siya. So, kung may aircon o walang aircon, hindi, hindi problema sa atin masyado. So, yun lamang po. I hope that you learn a lot. Happy virtual teaching. Keep safe everyone. And thank you.